kind of competition do you expect in at running back with all, all the guys that you guys return back there? I think it's going to be a good one. we got a bunch of good backs returning. Mikel, Trey, A-Rose, A-T. We're all going to be, you know, fighting for, fighting for time. So I, I predict a pretty good battle. How much emphasis or talk has there been about, you know, getting that run game churning a little bit more from last season, just more consistently, not just the running back, but a line, the whole package working together? Uh, it's definitely going to be a key this uh, this spring, and that's something that all the coaches talk about. Even like, as soon as the game was over last year, we, you know, we we knew what we had to do. So that was one thing that we've been talking about, and that we will continue to talk about. What's the thing that you want to work on the most? Is there one or two things that you highlighted that I, I need to improve on this part of my game? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely. Probably a uh, pass protection, and then uh, once you know I break through the line, and you know. Once I get a decent gain, just try to get every, just try to get every bit of it. Just try to get every bit of the run. Don't uh, don't leave any yards out there. Each carry, just maximize opportunities. When you have quarterbacks now that quarterbacks now they're going to kind of stay in the pocket. Mm-hmm. I mean, how different does that maybe make the run blocking or the pass protection for you guys, uh, knowing that Tommy would kind of run around, or now you're going to have to kind of really protect that pocket even more. Uh, I guess the emphasis will probably always still be there. I don't think it's going to change much because Tommy, it's Tommy had a pretty good, uh, he had a pretty good feel for the pocket. So if things are going, he would get away from it. So I think as long as we do our job, the quarterback should be fine. I don't think it's going to be much different. Devon, talk about the offensive line. There's some new faces coming in that have a lot of uh, upside on. Just talk about uh, the talent up front. How good do you feel about this offensive? I feel really good. We got a. I know we had some really good seniors leave last year, but I feel like the guys coming in are going to be able, to, you know, to step in and make a pretty big impact here pretty early. So I'm excited to see what they have, and we have a bunch of good guys returning. So the O line, I feel like it's going to be one of our strong points this season. What impresses you about uh, that offensive line? They're athletic. They can move. I like uh, like Gerald and Farmer. You know, we're going to have a see what that, see what's going on at center, but I just like the way they move. Gates out there pushing people, so it's just it's just a good thing to me. What you do know of Tanner, Patrick, or what you've seen, what what stands out to them? What do you what do you expect? I expect uh, I expect them to be uh, to be leaders on this team. You know, just you know, I feel like they command the field. We go out there, we throw, we do like a little uh, player throwing sessions, and both of them take the branch pretty uh, like confidently, and they they understand everybody respects them, so they have the team's respect and they have the team behind them. So I expect them to you know be pretty good leaders, and I know they're gonna throw the rock because they do it every day. So they're not guys who walk into the huddle like they just showed up. I mean, they, they, they yeah. act like they own it. Yeah, especially Tanner. When he first came in here, he kind of, he, you know, commanded presence. Like, he was here, and he wasn't really shy with anybody. You know, he was cool. Everybody got along with him really well. And he talks to the players like he's been here since he was a freshman. So, you know, we all, we like that vibe. Pat's been doing the same thing ever since he got here. So it's been a good, it's been a good little thing. Right. Yes, sir. It's definitely gonna give us uh, some more opportunities and some more time to practice to you know make make these plays perfect and you know see every possible outcome and just be able to bread and butter like you said. So I'm excited about that. Trying to make those plays my plays. You said, talk about leaders. Um, what a couple of guys were talking about. You guys elected ten captains. Yeah. Elected ten. Ten, I think. Yeah. Ten. And, and um, are, are you one of the ten? No. And, why is that important to have 10 guys leading you guys in the off season through spring ball? And what is that the plan to keep those 10 or uh, re-elect things in the fall? Uh, I don't know about the re-election part, or, but I think the biggest thing this off season was trying to make sure players were accountable. And with these 10 captains, they all picked teams. And if you missed or you were late or you didn't go to like a academic obligation that you had, uh, your team would get deducted points, and there'd be punishments, and you had battle buddies. So it was a just it was an accountability thing, trying to make sure everybody you know was all in and was focused on you know the mission at hand. So I feel like it worked. A lot of people were a little better with their attendance. <laughs> this uh, a lot of so you people. Separated in ten units. Yeah, ten ten teams. So it was like a draft. Tanner. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the winter conditioning captains were basically a weight room captains. Is that how you describe? Uh, yeah, they would just you know make sure the team was here on time and uh, uh, make sure we were at runs, make sure we all had our schedules situated and understood them. 
So yeah, they were just keeping things in check.